hello my name is Badar Bin and today I have got a very nice topic for you how you can improve your English by reading newspaper so English improvement by reading newspaper my name is Badar Bin and here I would like to tell you a beautiful note I hope you all will enjoy this a very nice video and learn and use effectively in your day to day life this is what the newspaper is all about in most of the cases it is noticed like students those who are going to learn English and they are highly recommended and advised by many experts to read newspaper but generally what happens this is a formal writing and whenever a student would like to learn and would like to improve reading so takes a lot of time and also face uh, students uh, face a lot of problems here so we can discuss it about it very brief way like why we have a lot of problems here generally what happens to us we need to understand that newspaper reading is a very good habit no doubt about it but point is vocabulary becomes a very uh, a kind of obstacles to us and then we don't understand grammar we don't understand words we don't understand the context we don't un understand the comprehension sometimes the writer's point of view journalist point of view and uh, the pa the article point of view so there are so many problems that we generally come across and the moment we read and we lose our interest so we hardly give a lot of times and it is also seen most of the students they only see pictures and try to understand some they only read the headlines and they leave it but there are general things that we need to understand how we can improve and how we can improve our English along with how we can understand newspaper there are a beautiful part but here I would like to tell you that how you can improve your English communication and English improvement by reading newspaper the techniques what I'm going to share with you is very important techniques and is going to help you for any competitive entrance trust me if you really learn effectively not only you can improve your English also you'll gain a lot of knowledge and techniques where you can implement your in your competitive entrance and in your day-to-day -day life so hope you are going to learn a lot of new ideas let's go over here so here we need to understand why don't we read newspaper to improve our English communication the biggest challenge is I don't understand or I have grammatical er er problem or I have uh, no vocabulary or I don't know much more about English or I don't understand the information I don't understand the way they write there may be some of the problems I do understand but it's all about interest if you have a keen interest if you would like to go by that I can tell you you can definitely gain a lot of ideas and you can do it better than others how and where where you should start and how you should do it let's talk about it so let's first focus on all Indian newspaper an Indian means all Indian newspaper so an Indian newspaper comprises of the following sections let's talk about Indian newspaper so as we are going to read many of the Indian news like the Hindu or Times of India or the Indian Express there are a lot of newspapers and then we need to understand about our Indian format how we generally come across in the newspaper first of all you need to find national news in Indian newspaper local news editorial international news business news and sports news these are the general part but here you need to understand what is your news what exactly you are looking for if you're looking for everything is well and good if you have only one target like you would like to read much more about national news then focus on that area find out your interest and purpose you are looking for local news focus on that you are only looking for editorial focus on that area you need international editorial and local go by that you know you need to have a lot of ideas about business because you belong to a business field that you need to improve your communication for the business so you focus on the business you belong to sports and you would like to learn more related content based on the sports so you focus on that first you target what exactly you are looking for if it is your local editorial or international news you don't know more more about that one there you have to choose it doesn't mean like you have to read everything you choose one area to improve your communication because as a beginner so you need to choose only one area this is recommended then the moment you find comfortable then go by every part of it fine now benefits so what are the best benefit you are going to have it if you read newspaper daily 
and if you follow the techniques if you improve if you want to improve your communication and if you want to improve your english a language then you need to understand the benefit of it so let me tell you what are the best benefit reading newspaper so here you can improve your speed reading so reading speed is a technique so where you can find that you can read fast and then understand fast the time will come initially you may face little troubles but later on you can have a beautiful part of it then you can improve your vocabulary you have a grammatical understanding you can really learn a lot of grammars from here those expert those who have written they have a language uh, proficiency level they understand the context they understand the grammar and introduce which are going to help you a lot and you can improve your fluency by reading you can collect a lot of information you can improve your general knowledge and language comprehension is one of the best part which will really help you for your competitive entrance and you can understand most of the books you can understand more, most of information and most of uh, areas where you have any any part of article or blocks you can really understand inside meaning and next one is you can improve your writing skill no doubt about it then you can also improve your focus group discussion if you are a participant of any group discussion you are preparing for any competitive entrance so this all information from newspapers will definitely help you how they have represented how they have write they have written which is going to help you to represent in your group discussion and you will be updated with a lot of information your it's going to help you for your competitive examination there are a lot of vocabularies a lot of grammatical part a lot of error correction error identifications comprehension and many more things you can really get benefit out of your newspaper reading and then you can also learn social behavioral impact you can also get the benefit of personality development lot of beautiful tips health tips your personality related tips lot of uh, social how to uh, Uh, develop our inner skill set or how to develop a uh, lot of new ideas in the corporate world and many more things you can find it which is related to personality there you can really have uh, great uh, learning resources for personality development then also you can build up your common sense and here creating brain exercise so there are a lot of activities also you can find in newspapers which will help you to create your brain exercise let's talk about reading skill so how we should read it there are two beautiful techniques i would like to share with you to improve your reading skill one is skimming skimming is all about like when you want to skim it you mean you have to look at those points which are required which are important factors so where you need to be little fast you have to understand what exactly you are looking for so maybe top headings or top of the highlighted news or italicized news or top up picture related news or top of highlighted points that are the best important part of your scheming where you need to introduce the important part of it so you have to take out the cream out of your uh, milk so in that way if the topic is there then you have to focus on the important theme of it no need to read everything about it so if you want to go by scanning it means you have to be a little silent you have to take your pen and or pencil you have to scan it properly you have to read step by step you have to look at your punctuation grammar vocabulary and you have to finish your reading skill so scheming and scanning is really going to help you a lot to understand a news article and also you can meet of the requirement of your purposes and this habit will definitely help you in your competitive entrance let's understand one part that is word per minute it is highly suggested that minimum 260 words to 400 words must be word per minute always at the time of reading uh, you always do one of the best activities that i always do it you just keep your stopwatch read newspaper and check how many words you are able to cover in a minute and try to build up your speed and the more you speed build up the speed more you can be fluent in reading and remember if you want to improve word per minute habits you mean you can really be competent in your in your competitive entrance or if you're looking for any kind of uh, of competition where reading plays a vital role that also you can play actively right so this is the idea that i wanted to share with you read fast understand fast there's a simple idea you need to keep it in your mind so let's talk about grammatical words and contain words so there are so many words in english newspaper so this 
all words have been divided into two sections one is called grammatical words another is your contain words so how you can understand it better let's talk about grammatical words the grammatical words are pronouns article determiners auxiliary verbs adverbs preposition and conjunction these are grammatical words and let's talk about contain words nouns your adjective main verbs your adverbs of manner interjection so what is all about it why i have differentiated the idea is all about like whenever you are reading if you are going to focus on only contain words if you i on and if you read a lot to contain words you can understand it better you can improve your fast reading and you can understand that contain words are the important words where you can find the messages you can find information and grammatical words is the only supportive words to to uh, uh, create the sentence structures but if you want to give importance and if you want to give a lot of stress then i recommend all of you to give a lot of stress to the contain words which are very important for vocabulary building for knowledge for information and at the time of uh, representing language you need to introduce your contain words grammatical words is all about rules and regulations which have been implemented for the language development but exact knowledge is based on contain words let's learn something more thought group what is thought group at the time of reading whenever you are reading newspapers so you need to create thought group so how you can beautifully read so you need to understand at the time of reading you have to give a little pause uh, related uh, whenever you come across a punctuation or adverb or whenever you find expression you have to give beautiful expression tone and uh, read effectively to the inverted commas or whenever you come across a conjunction so you need to understand that if article is based on this grammatical form so you need to give your pause how you can take a little breath and represent your language so if you are reading loudly and if you bring this intonation i mean voice modulation with a thought group you can get pleasure to hear your sound and you can get involved into it so this this activity is going to help you to improve your english communication so that's why i have made thought group i would like to give more information about grammar analysis so whenever you come across with a reading newspaper you can find grammar analysis how there are active and passive voice you can find it simple present tense and the heading or present perfect tense in the heading and how the sentence is written how the narration is presented how the topic is described how exposition is introduced how discussion has come across with the sequence so you can find present tense past tense in the future forms and different grammatical okay sentences like a simple present uh, or simple sentences your compound sentences complex sentences then compound complex sentences how it's been introduced so the moment you get through you can really find it and there are certain words which takes specific preposition there are certain words which always goes by collocation so there are a lot of beautiful ideas you can have it if you really read newspaper it's not all about getting only information so you can utilize newspaper for your grammar analysis then vocabulary building so it's going to help you to improve your vocabulary but for vocabulary building i want you to focus on nouns adjectives main verbs and adverbs these are the four contain words which will really going to give you a lot of ideas about your vocabulary and you can find idiomatic expression phrases and different kind of uh, collocation the word togetherness uh, minimum two three words they go at a time and these all phrases idioms collocations contain words going to help you to build your vocabulary which is going to impact a lot in your communication you can really use effectively you can sound matured at the time of speaking and writing also so that's why reading newspaper is very effective never let it go one more part short note making whenever you read something so you can improve your best of writing skill the moment you read one article so try to summarize it that summarization is going to really help you there are a lot of competitive entrance uh, for international standard and national standard where short note making is one of the best part so you can improve your essay writing through this you can improve different kind of column writing you can improve different kind of uh, paragraph writing so that's why short note making is beautiful habit of improvement of uh, to bring improvement in your writing skill so go by this one one more techniques i would like to share with you this is a very important techniques here i have learned it from different uh, resources so that is sq3r what is that scan 
questions read recall review so whenever you come across with an article you scan it properly remain silent don't bring your lip sync close it and understand every part of it it may take little time but have patience create questions on that how far you have understood what are the uh, questions related to it and uh, why it is said and what is the point of view of journalist what is what is this passage speaks about or article speaks about create a lot of questions on this part then read it at the time of reading you read with your thought group read uh, with little loud voice where you can really listen to it then close it and remain silent and try to recall memorize everything and recall that what was the what were the questions what did you read what did you scan then after that you review it so what did you get out of your scanning questioning and reading and recalling so ask yourself the moment you find the answers that is your result so if you follow sq 3 hours this this techniques is going to help you improve uh, your reading habit and you can memorize a lot of information you can memorize vocabulary you can understand grammar you can understand information you can have a speed reading you can improve your fluency and you won't forget you can create your pleasure doing this kind of habit regularly next one i would like to tell you about writing analysis if you want to become the writer newspaper resources are the best part that in the show, uh, now you can notice social media and the people those who would like to build up their career in mass communication through the reading newspaper for writing analysis is the best resources i recommend all of you to go by that understand how the writing is introduced different kind of report writing short note writing paragraph writing news writing article writing preface writing prolong writing there are a lot of writing you can find on newspapers so if you really understand the grammar understand vocabulary understand writing format so go by that analyze it it is going to help you to improve your writing skill another part is comprehension comprehension is the best part to improve your language and here you will come across with a variety of information and through information you can understand writer's point of view and article point of view and there you can understand inside meanings which are going to help you a lot to or oh, uh, write well in your competitive entrance if you are appearing any kind of top level competitive entrance where you can find comprehension so that's why it is highly recommended to go by comprehension comprehensive analysis and to improve comprehension by reading newspaper there are variety of sentence structures you can find it uh, short sentence structure grammatically introduced and uh, you can find simple you can find complex compound compound complex so uh, along with the tenses are uh, models related reported speech related sentences which are really going to help you to improve your english another part information no doubt about it if you continue reading newspaper you will get lot of information and that information is going to really help you to generate your ideas to understand uh, the go of the world and you can understand exactly how the society is being formed and uh, how information is flowing everywhere and you can be updated and you won't feel Uh, like you don't have knowledge about a topic so whenever a topic comes so you can speak better so you can generate a lot of ideas also another part that is your this is a very good habit of reading newspaper this simple idea i just brought you and i thought you would definitely use it effectively and uh, i know that uh, this information is very effective but only one part please continue doing it watch this video again and again and get benefit out of it so this is my online training uh, phone number 9178017011 those who are looking for online training i not only teach english also i provide lot of skills soft skills and ilts toefl pt training and mainstay abroad is our organization if you really like this video please share with all and uh, subscribe the channel i'm coming with lot of new videos hope This training session with the small information what I shared with you is quite effective for all of you. Thank you. All the best.